How to build portals in two minutes. <laughs> Step one. Rendering. Before we can make our player teleport through the portal, we need to render what the other portal is seeing. We can do this by creating a plane with a material that has an albedo for camera B, which we can create via a render texture of camera B. Don't forget that for each camera, we need a screen cutout shader so the camera will render right syncs. Now that we have a plane viewing the other side of the other portal via a render texture viewing the other camera, rendering is done- Ah, frick. Well, it's time for scripting. First things first, we need the cameras to move relative to the player but offset by the distance between the player and the portal it is designed to. Basically, when the player moves, the camera moves with it. However, if the player rotates their head, the camera won't follow. By using quaternions or vectors, we can let the camera rotate with the player. Our portal is almost there, but something is off about it. The problem is that the render texture is not the same size as the game screen. We can set this up pretty easily through the code by setting the target texture of camera B as the width, height, and depth of the render texture. Finally, repeat this process for the other portal and we have working portal! Congratulations. Yeah! Congratulations! 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 Congratulations. And if we walk through it, no, no, nothing happened. <sighs> Step 2. Teleporting the player. How we're going to do this is to check if the player is hitting a collider. In this case, it's the collider plane from the beginning of the video. If it is, and if the player is going through it from the right direction, we teleport the player, while keeping the position offset and rotation offset the same. Using an onTrigger enter method, a method that calls when a specific object passes through the game object's collider, we will check the colliding part. From here, we use a dot product. But Juju, what the heck is a dot product? A dot product is, according to brackets, the measure of an angle formed from two points pointing relative to a game object or multiple game objects. We calculate this using the cosine of the angle because the cosine of an angle greater than 90 is positive, while the cosine of an angle less than 90 is negative. Trigonometry. Fun. Using this, we can check if the dot product between the portal and the player is greater than zero. If the player is going through the portal from the right direction, all we need to do is teleport the player. By using quaternions quaternion. and vectors, we can move and rotate the player accordingly based on where he was in the portal. Fill in the public variables and now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, portals. Wait, wh wh why, why was my portal not working? What did I do wrong? Really? That was it? It took me three and a half hours to find that out?